Hi, this is Coco Beauty 85 coming at you. I am in the process of transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair and I haven't been transitioning that long. I have a notebook here to pretty much go over dates and things like that just because I know I would have remembered. I also wanted to eventually talk about this hair that I have in. It's been one of the best hair I've ever had. So anyway, back back on track. My last perm was September 3rd, 2011, which was 19 weeks ago exactly from today. And the funny thing is, the moment I got my relaxer, it was literally like a week later where I was like, I think I want to go natural. I had already been thinking about it but was actually too scared to even consider doing it. But watching a lot of you guys has encouraged me to actually take that step and in go into that direction. I was just so unaware of all the products and tools of to that nature in terms of helping transitioning from relaxed to natural. I have no intentions of doing the big chop just because simply... I can't do I can't do the TWA. I can't. More power to the, to the ones that do, but it, it's just not for me. I can't imagine myself going through that phase. So I plan on going through the long haul and transitioning. So again, it's only been 19 weeks. So the only thing I've been doing in terms of transitioning is because I'm still not comfortable 100% with my own natural hair. I don't think I ever I really have been since I can remember. But before I got this weave, I was wearing um, wigs, which I always end up turning into, I guess you could say, half wigs because I always make sure to leave out the front of my hair and the back, and then I blend. So the, the wig itself I actually got from HairSisters.com. And I believe the name of the wig is Tracy, and it's just this tight, curly, fro-like, yeah, fro-like, and it's very easy for me to blend my own hair. I use perm rods to blend it a little bit better in terms of the, my leave-out. In the back, I don't really care because you can't see it anyway. So I've been wearing that for a few weeks, and then I decided that I wanted to get a weave, which... I've had since December 3rd, so it's been exactly two weeks since I've been wearing this. I actually did a co-wash um, today on the hair and my own hair. So first things first, what I've been doing in terms of taking care of my hair is I have to wash my hair once a week. I have a very dry scalp and it's very necessary for me to do so. Plus, my hair... Not just my scalp, but my hair itself gets very dry. So as we all know, water is, you know, a type of moisture for our hair. So I feel very comfortable washing it. So I went through this whole, and I still am, process of trying to find the right product for my hair. I've become such a product junkie. It's crazy. It can get a little expensive with that being said, but I've always been like, a product junkie, whether it's been with my makeup, with my skin, accessories, especially accessories. I just wanted to give Ivy Charlene a shout out for these earrings. Um, I love these. I have the blue ones as well, not to get off off track or anything like that. But if you guys are interested, I'm sure you've heard of her. It's www.ivycharlene.com. Hey, girl. So anyway, the first shampoo that I ever bought, I w it was a shampoo bar, uh, which I have here. Um, I bought a shampoo bar and a conditioner bar. This is actually the shampoo bar and this is the conditioner bar. And it's chargonvalleysoap.com. I figured, hey, why not give it a try? And plus, Tasha Miley, Miley, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I seen her tutorial and it kind of encouraged me to give it a try. So that was the first thing. I'm not 100% a big fan just because both the shampoo bar and the conditioner bar kind of really, really stripped my hair. So it really feels like it needs 
something else afterwards, which I always do a deep conditioner anyway, but it just still feels really stripped and I don't like that feeling. But I feel like because I bought it, I should keep using it sparingly. I'll eventually use it all up. Um, I actually... Hold on, right sec. Sorry about that. Um, I have bought this. It's Garnier Fructis Fortifying Conditioner, Pure Clean. No silicone, paraben, no dye. And it's so good. Like, I love this stuff. Um, it gives you that slip that you look for. Makes my hair very soft and manageable. And of course, with Garnier Fructis, it smells really good. The consistency is nice. It's nice and thick because I don't like any watered-down products. But it's really good. I would recommend it if somebody would, you know, are looking for a conditioner. It's very, very good. So with that being said, I felt like I wasn't completely satisfied since the shampoo bar and conditioner bar wasn't really doing how I wanted it to react on my hair. So I was, of course, watching you guys and watching other products and things to that nature. And I was trying to find a product without any alcohol because I felt like, oh, no, stay away from alcohol. But it was very difficult, and I did find a product. Um, I can't remember the name of it. I returned it. I used it once, and I returned it. I wasn't impressed. It was tea tree. Um, it starts with a P. I can't remember. But I returned it. And so I was still out of luck in terms of a shampoo. So then um, I seen Miss Vaughn TV, I believe that's her name. Um, she had did a tutorial on, or not a tutorial, she was kind of doing like a review, I guess you could say, on beautiful textures. It was a fairly new product line that just came out. And my local beauty supply store had it, which I found interesting because again it's a new product line and I'm sure it's not in a lot of stores so I bought this shampoo okay it's beautiful textures tangle taming moisturizing shampoo now the moisturizing shampoo is what caught my attention but on top of that Miss Vaughn TV had mentioned that it's like <clears throat> out of every product that she had from this line this was her favorite so of course I'm like it's $6.99 go for it and like she had stated it smells delicious, and I'm just so hooked on products that smell so well. Of course, I want it to serve its purpose, but it doesn't. It does help when it does smell really good, and just like she stated as well, it's just like a conditioner to me. It really detangles your hair, leaves your hair soft. It doesn't have that strip feeling. I love it. So again, I'm a product junkie, so I felt the need to buy also the deep conditioner. Um. I think I have it with me. Yes. The Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner. Um, also $6.99. It's a huge jar. I've used it, I want to say, two or three times. It's pretty good. Um, love it. <laughs> so, I also bought the Curl Control Defining Pudding. They also had, like, um, a butter but I didn't buy that because I already have shea butter by um, so many different people. Um, Kinky Curly Trio 3, she was actually the first person I bought um, anything off like YouTube to say. Um, I don't have the shea butter with me. It's in my room and I won't leave again. So I've been using her products. Um, I actually use it today for my leave out um, and in between my scalp. This is her Bamboo Fig and Lotus Flowers, a homemade deep conditioner. I don't know if you could tell. I've pretty much used up most of it. I have like about this much left. It smells really good. It's not strong at all. It has a natural scent to it, which is great. And I also have her Rice Flower and Shea 
homemade leave-in conditioner. I have a lot of this because I don't really need a whole lot, especially now since it's just my leave out in my back. So again, this smells very good. It's very natural, not too overpowering. Um, it has shea in it, so it's a very good consistency. So what I actually did in terms of washing my hair with this weave, I got the idea from Black Onyx 77. I just made my own concoction, really. So I took Tree's um, homemade conditioner. I put like a little apple cider vinegar in it, baking soda, grape seed oil, castor oil, and I kind of mix it up. And I use a toothbrush. I use a toothbrush to get in between my braids, which seemed to be the most effective way to get in between because it's very difficult with one long nails and you don't want to be digging and scratching up your scalp you want to massage and it's kind of hard to do that and the way that my weave is done is in a beehive so the braids get a little difficult at the top because it's in a I don't know it just is a little difficult for me so yes that's how I wash my scalp and then of course my leave out I just um you know let it saturate I always saturate my hair with deep conditioner so I left it on in terms of the deep conditioner in both my the weave and my hair for 25-30 minutes. What I did with my weave was I first co-washed it with Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curls and Waves Conditioner. I just like Herbal Essence in general. It smells really good. I think you guys know that already. So I used that first only because <clears throat> I'm just trying to use it up because I've had it for a while but my main conditioner is I'm everyone's heard of this the hello hydration I love this stuff I was excited to see this at BJ's with the pump it's great anyway yes yeah, so I let it all sit in my cap for 25 30 minutes then I rinsed out I let the hair air dry and then with my leave out this is my leave out okay I took perm rods and I rolled it up for some reason it didn't curl like all my ends like can you see that I don't know it yeah there's my leave out so it kind of just gave it a bump which is fine because it blends in as you can see unless you guys don't think so but anyway I let it sit in took a nap I was like let me do this video because I'm going to a family party later on. I'm so sorry that this video is so long. I figured it would be just because it's my first video. I'm just trying to get products and to that nature out the way. So basically, um, again, product junkie. I felt like I needed a good moisturizer. Basically, I've been using jojoba oil um, on my leave out. And in general, before I had the weave, I was using jojoba oil and then trees, shea butter. Um, and then I have like thin edges. I do. I think we're all guilty of the whole single braids. I used to wear single braids back in the day. I gave up on the whole idea of even growing that out. But watching so many of you guys, I've realized that there are so many products out there. So one thing that I started doing, and I don't have it with me, but I have Black Onyx 77, her growth oil. Um... It's great, you know, it has like EMU, M -U, I don't know how to pronounce it, M E M U oil in it, rosemary, um, all other types of essential oils that are great for your hair. So when I started to read that that was really good, I was like, you know, let me just focus, I'll saturate my edges and focus on, of course, my scalp. I use that now with this weave, I get in between there with the growth oil. And um, then I started hearing about castor oil being really well black castor oil at that so me being me I felt the need to buy it but I only bought the little bottle it's Jamaican black castor oil with tea tree oil which we know tea tree oil is good for itchy scalps and to that nature and like I said I have a really dry scalp so this was good and I also bought the pomade I don't have that with me no I don't I I just bought it just because I was like ooh <laughs> I just I always try to find an excuse to buy products, but it seems like a lot of good reviews. Bought it off Amazon.com. Seems like a lot of good reviews were on both these products, so I figured to buy it. And I also use this on my edge control if I just want to slick back. 
any of the edges. It's olive oil organic root stimulator. Don't put too much because it'll flake up. But it's good overall. And then I also, I forget her name, but um, it was tivianaturals.com. They have this product called Shea Hemp Growth Butter that was supposed to be like a really, really great impact on edges and just your hair in general. This is what it is. Um, I just started using it. This is what it looks like. I don't know. It doesn't have the best smell, but I'm all about if the product works, who cares what it smells like. That's just how I feel. Um, so I started doing a 30-day challenge on both the castor oil and the shea hemp butter. So I started the shea hemp butter on January 9th, because that's the day I got the product in the mail. I believe that was a Monday. And then the black castor oil came two days later, so I started that on January 11th. So basically what my routine at this point is for my edges is that in the morning I'll use Black Onyx's growth oil, and I just massage the sides and in the back the nape. And then I will use the Shea Hemp Butter to just kind of give the, my hair and my edges some more moisture in the back as well. And then at night, I use the black castor oil along with the Shea Hemp. And I just brush it, and I wear a bonnet at night. It's my little bonnet. Silk. I need to buy some silk pillowcases because sometimes this moves when I'm sleeping and my pillowcases are cotton. So anyway... Um, in general, when I detangle this hair, I realized even a wide tooth comb wasn't the best idea. So I just finger comb it to that nature. And again, like I said, I love this hair. Again, it's been two weeks. Um, let me tell you what hair it is. So this is from hairaddict.com. Deep curly. I'm sure you guys seen many people with this hair. It seems to always be out of stock. That's how popular it is. That's why I was excited to get on this and just grab it. Um, basically, I have 10 to 12 inches up top. This, this is really nice. And then I have 14 to 16 inches at the bottom. Now, I'm like a more of a 10 to 12 inches girl when it comes to my weave. Like, I never would go beyond that length. But I was just like, let me try something new. Grab a little bit of a longer length. And this is not even that much longer like from what I'm used to. I mean, I guess if you stretch it, it comes down like, I don't know, my boob area. So, but again, I co-washed it today. I let it air dry. And this is the quickest hair drying I've ever had as well. I figured to make mention of this hair just because I've seen a bunch of people with this hair. But they're all gur gur gurus. Is that what they're called? So I just feel like the company will send them... The best of the best of the hair. So there's not a lot of people on YouTube with this hair that don't always get free hair. Um, so I just wanted to touch bases on that. I wanted to give a shout out as well to 007 New New. Love how she's so informative. Very encouraging. She gets back to me and... You know, I always pay attention to all her videos, all of her videos. And I want to also give a shout out to Philly Diva 19154 just because she's also very informative. And, you know, you are brave. Not to sound like, you know, a cliche, but I just couldn't shave my hair. But I love it on you. You have the attitude and it looks great. Um... So yes, those are the few people I wanted to give a shout out to. And those are the products that I've been using so far. Um, it's been, again, 19 weeks. So I don't have that much new growth. But it's there. So what is that, like four and a half months or so? I don't know. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions for me regarding this hair... The earrings by Ivy Charlene, or just about going natural, I'll be glad to answer. Um, I'm glad that I'm documenting this journey just because I think it's very difficult for some people to make that transition. I know it was for me personally, so completely understand. So, 
Well, thanks for listening. Sorry that the video was so long. I will be sure to get better at this as I go along. All right. Bye.